In all of my experience coaching indie authors to improve their book marketing, there's consistently, not all the time, but a lot of the time, there's one area that is just bottlenecking their sales. And that's their book description. And it's really too bad because it's one of the areas, uh, it's actually in fact the most important factor that helps determine whether or not a reader is going to purchase your book or read it through Kindle Unlimited or move on to another book. Now that's certainly according to a written word media uh, study. What they did was they pulled all of their users and they're a very big player in the self-publishing industry. If you haven't heard of them, they own Free Booksy and a couple other free book promo sites. But what they did is they pulled their readers and they found that uh, behind, um, well, not behind, but in front of uh, the cover and the reviews, it was actually the book description that made the biggest impact or the biggest factor determining whether or not that reader was going to buy your book. And the major thing is that so many authors just kind of skip over it. Like it's hard to write a book description. Like I fully admit that. To write my book descriptions, it takes me three, four, five, sometimes six hours for like 180 words, which is unreal you know 180 words that can be done like two minutes when you're actually writing the book but this is a book description what you really want to do it's, it's different type of writing it's what we call copywriting and it's really the most valuable type of writing that you can sell out there if you really wanted to uh, monetize your writing get into copywriting it it follows its own set of rules and essentially what copywriting is is that it's writing its text to influence a person to take an action or make a sale and in this case for people to buy our book and the good book description what it does is it takes these principles of copywriting and it adds in hooks and intensifying the conflict and adding a call to action and really making that um, that potential reader really want to either buy the book or move down to the reviews or to the look inside. Either one of those three, but that's what a really good book description does. And because it's so dang important, we wanna do a couple versions of the book description and we wanna test those versions. So how do we test them? And that's what this video is all about. I'm gonna give you three ways to test your book description. I'm gonna talk about how to do it and pros and cons to each of the methods. And before we get into that, I want to give you a bit of a pro tip here. And this is a quote from Ryan Levesque, who is um, who is an author and he has several businesses as well. If you can look at my future, you want to really want to see. But what he says is that when you're testing something, when you're testing one thing against the other, uh, what you want to do is test um, screams, not whispers. You want to test screams, not whispers. So you don't want to just change, you know have two versions where it's just a few words changed here or there. You want to make it somewhat different where you're going to see the actual result. The worst case scenario is that uh, you, go, you go through this whole process of testing different book descriptions out and the result is 50-50. You know, the results are um, inconclusive. Uh, that one is the better one is is better than over the other. So remember, when you're testing the two, when you're choosing the two to test, you want to test screams, not whispers. Okay, enough of that. Let's go into the three methods of how to test them. Method number one is using Amazon ads. And the way you do this is you set up your ads as normal, uh, just like you, you always would. You put up one uh, description on on your product page, and you run the ads with good targeting, and you look at your conversion rate. So you figure out your conversion rate. Just lately, Amazon ads made uh, some updates so they actually have their own column now uh, for conversions. So if you don't see it, uh, make sure you look on customize columns and then uh, pick conversions. But conversions is, is essentially how many people click your clicks, uh, no, your orders versus uh, divided by your clicks. So what we wanna aim for with Amazon ads, what is ideal is one sale for every 10 clicks which is a 10% conversion rate. You can get away with one to 30. Um, if you start getting over one to 30, then it's it's really, really becoming unprofitable depending on, on what your CPC is. But what you can do is uh, you can change, you can test one uh, book description with Amazon ads and then uh, test it for a month or two and then test the second version using the same targeting and see if your conversion rates 
are improving. Now, a couple of pros with this is that it's very, very targeted. Like that's one great thing about Amazon ads is that you can target right down to a product in the sponsored carousel ads on a product listing. You can product in categories and keywords, exact match keywords. Like it's very, very targeted. And that is one real pro. A con is that it can take a long time. Uh, like depending on what you're bidding, how competitive the bids are, um, you know how how um, th these products that you're that you're targeting, how what is their ABSRs? Are they you know are you going to get a good amount of impressions? Uh, sometimes it can take a long time to get that data, and it's kind of a pain in the butt because you know you have to change the the um, the description on Amazon ads or a on the Amazon platform. So. It, it, it can take it can take a long time. It could take months, essentially, and it could be fairly expensive if if your targeting is not spot on. Method number two is using Facebook ads. So how do you do this? Well, what you want to do is there's certain areas with a Facebook ad that you can customize. Well, there's a bunch of areas that you can customize. You can customize the uh, the photo or the photos if it's a carousel, if if it's a carousel one. I can uh, customize uh, the headline the call to action. And what we're most interested in is customizing the text. So a lazy way of doing the text is just throwing in your book description. So what you want to do is you want to keep all the other creative. So when I say creative, I'm talking about, you know, that, that whole thing that, you know, the pictures, the, the call to action, the headline, you want to keep everything else the same. And you want to test two different ads with two different versions of your book description. Then what you want to do is you want to wait till you at least have a hundred clicks to make sure you get a good enough data set. And then you look at your CP, uh, CPC cost per click and CTR uh, cost or uh, click per, per click through CTR click through ratio or click through rate. And, and you see which one is, is performing the best. Now a pro with this is that it is much, much faster than Amazon ads. Amazon ads, I find, you know, when you're when you're really trying to control your spending, if you don't care about how much you spend, you're going to get a lot of impressions, hopefully a lot of clicks, and, and then some sales in there as well. With Facebook ads, uh, even with five dollars a day budget, you know, two ads at five dollars a day per, uh, you can get you know impressions of thousands and thousands of people, and you get dozens of clicks a day. Uh, so it's it's much much faster than Amazon ads. A con is that there's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, with uh, Facebook ads. It's not as simple. There's a little bit of a learning curve with, with Amazon ads too, but I find Facebook ads is more difficult for uh, beginners uh, who are just brand new to advertising. Another con uh, relative to Amazon ads is that it's less targeted. I really like sort of Facebook's targeting where you can narrow down the targeting, but it is essentially less, um, less targeted uh, results that you're getting. And the third and final option that I highly, highly recommend is a website called PickFu or PickFu.com. And uh, I do actually have a link down below in the description where you can get 10% off your first off your first order. Now it is an affiliate link. There's no extra cost to you if you decide to use that. You do get that extra 10% uh, off your first order. And I do get a little bit of a kickback if you do want to help support this channel. But what PickFu is, is that uh, you create a poll and you could test two, three, a bunch of different variants. But what I recommend is testing at least two variants or just two variants. And you test it out to 50 uh, respondents. Now, back when I used this uh, with my first book in, in 2017, I used it twice to test out my book covers. And back then the targeting was less specific. Now they have really dug in their heels to help self-publishers. Yeah, they specialize in some other areas too, but they really, like I said, dug in their heels to help self-publishers. So what you can do is you can pick the number of respondents that you want with a minimum of 50 people to respond to. You could pick targeting in terms of like age and gender. And what I really, really love is that you can pick targeting based on readers of a specific genre. So if you're in sci-fi and you want to test out two descriptions, you can pick specifically sci-fi readers between the ages of this and the gender of that. And if you already did your, um, your um, audience insights and defined your audience, you're already able to pick, you know, the age and gender, and it gives you incredible, incredible results. And it's fast. 
Like this is by far the fastest. Amazon ads, like I said, would take months. This pick foo, it takes, I remember they say, I think 24 hours that you'll get all 50 respondents. Um, but in my experience, like three or four hours. It's just, it's so fast. I remember the first time I did it, and this is actually leading into the con now, is that it's sort of addicting seeing all the respondents come in and seeing, you know, which one's going to be winning uh, versus the, um, uh, on the poll. But it's really, really exciting, you know, refreshing the screen. Oh, this one's winning. Oh, this one's winning. This one's winning. And when the respondents, uh, they not only choose which one uh, they prefer, but they also give like a one or two sentence reason why they prefer that one. It's really addicting. I remember I spent $50, $50 uh, the first time, three or four hours, the results came back. And then I was like, oh, well, what about this other book cover? And then I end up testing the other two. But my big mistake was I didn't test screams. Uh, I tested whispers. So that second result, it was exactly a 50-50 split, a 25 to 25. So I'm like, well, you know, that's not very helpful at all. And I, I guess sort of another negative to, to PickFu is that it could be a, an expensive upfront cost. Yes, it is $50. It starts at 50 US dollars. And yet we are getting US respondents, which is great. So you're not getting people that were overseas, you know, in poll farms. I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing, but you're getting US respondents and it starts at $50. The more targeted you get, um, like for example, if you're a specific targeting a specific age range, it's going to increase like $1.25 per respondent. So it's easy to go from $50 to, you know, $75 or $100 fairly quickly. But when you think about it, like compared to like Amazon ads or even Facebook ads, yeah, it's a higher upfront cost, but you get it right away. You get it so much faster as opposed to like Amazon ads or Facebook ads. You're probably going to spend that $50 or more, but it's just going to be, you know, over in Amazon ads case over months or in Facebook ads case, you know, over five, six, seven days. So when you think about it, it's really not that, uh, really not that costly. And if you do use my link down below, you'll save 10% off your first order. So you're looking at like $45, 45 US dollars uh, for your first order. So in my opinion, PickFu is the clear, clear winner to test your book description. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, it's by far the most important or the biggest factor in determining whether a reader is going to be buying your book or moving on to someone else's who has tested their book description and they know the winning book description and they're going to be buying that book. And I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to my coaching clients. I don't want that to happen to anyone who's watching this video. So please, please, please don't just say, you know what, it's too hard to write a book description. Put the time in, do different versions, and test those different versions. It's going to make your marketing efforts so, so much easier. Trust me, it's going to cost you less to market, um, and you're going to get far, far better results. So let me know. Uh, are you going to be doing this? Which method are you going to be using? Are you going to be using PickFu? Have you tested yours in the past? Uh, let me know. If you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe, like the, like the video, do all that sort of stuff. I'm Denny with Weekend Publisher. I'll see you in the next one.